All right, so the craziest beer I had last week was Riding for the Feeling Pilsner from Resident Culture Brewing Company in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Kenny, last week I had a green beer with gold glitter and essence of muskrat in it. How is a lager the craziest beer you had last week? Well, let me tell you. On a good day, I'm 5'8". That is five foot eight inches, which is not very tall. As a kid, I studied a bunch. I read a bunch of books, and I actually became my school sports announcer because I was more of a liability on the field than an asset. And because I studied so much, I got really good grades, and I went to Duke University, where I studied a lot more. But Philip McLam, the co-founder of Resident Culture Brewing Company, is six foot five, and that's really tall. That's almost, but not quite, a foot taller than I am. If I wanted, I could stand next to him, and if I smacked my lips, I would just kiss his upper forearm. And because Philip was so tall, he went to the University of North Carolina and played basketball. So here we are, short Ken and tall Philip. Coach K versus Roy Williams. Duke, yay, versus UNC, boo. In 2019, Hop Culture and Resident Culture decided to team up to throw a beer festival in Resident Culture's parking lot. And so Philip and I looked at each other and said, what would be a fun theme? And he said, wait a minute, I went to Duke, you went to UNC, it's the greatest basketball rivalry of all time. So you know what we did? We threw juicy bruise balls to the wall, a basketball themed festival in Charlotte, North Carolina. We told everyone to wear their favorite jerseys and we had awesome breweries from all over the country and a giant knockout tournament. It was maybe the biggest knockout tournament at a beer festival ever. And the festival was so fun that someone even pooped themselves in the tap room. No, it wasn't me. Dude, I did not poop myself in the tap room. No, some, somebody did, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. No, it's not the first time someone put themselves at one of our festivals. It's the third actually. It was Tucson, Richmond, then Charlotte. It was awful, yeah, it was terrible. Funny in hindsight, but no, it was, it was bad. There's kind of a grainy malt and this grain sweetness that's just shy of floral. Uh, the beer is clean, it's dry, it's beautiful, and you have this trifecta of German hops that provides this balanced bitterness. It is, as my new friend Alec F says, one of the best crispy boys. So there you go. Sometimes a beer isn't that crazy, and in fact, this one is about as uncrazy as they come. 5% easy drinking to beat the heat, simply delicious. But this beer, for me, brings back some pretty crazy memories. And that's why I'm calling Resident Culture Brewing Companies, riding for the feeling Pilsner, my craziest beer of the week. Cheers.